good afternoon from the Bateau Turf in South Lakes, the home of Fremantle Coburn Hockey Club. It is going to be a round 12 clash between Fremantle, who at the start of this weekend was sitting sixth on the league table. Unfortunately, the results yesterday have seen them drop down to eighth place, but they take on Melville today, who are currently sitting in third place on the league ladder. Steven over the ball. Oh, and sliding into the back post, Declan Spencer. That's just behind the netting. Welsh comes out with the ball. Lovely little sidestep from Welsh to Gill. The two Tasmanians combining. Abbott with a really good run. Good defence, though, by Ross Hall just stepping across. Throws it into the mix. And Day, well, I don't know what you'd call that. It was more like Irish hurling than tennis. Willis, anyway, breaking forward. A little bit of space on the left-hand side. Just again, that touch, just leaving the ball behind from Ryan Hyder. Gears calling for the ball. Comes to him. That's Tim Gears. Good pass to Willis. Willis slides it across the face of goal. Good defence, though, again from Daryl McCormick. Playing it out of the defensive line was Luke Lawson. Did well again. It's a nice turn. Good acceleration coming from Nelson. Nelson wanted to go for the shot. Lovely touch across the face of goal. And unfortunately just deflected wide. Carried forward. Oh, and into the circle. Just plays it across the face of goal and it runs away. Given away rather softly that time by Fremantle. One back though brilliantly. That was good work again coming from Matt Nelson. Strong challenge on the far side and appeals from the Fremantle fans for a free hit. Not given and it looks like the Fremantle Coburn player has landed rather heavily on his wrist. McPherson all oh, just hesitate. It's given away. Willis steals it. Gears now bursting forward. Gears looks to cut infield. Shoots. What a save by Rennie. Absolutely superb by Ben Rennie. Back to Ellis though. And played it straight into the stick of Staines. Says thank you very much. Keeps possession, feeds it to Sam Gears. Willis goes on a run, looking to play, have the ball played down the line. Comes infield though, collected that time by Mitchell Tate. And Deven wins the free hit though. Deven wants the return pass, he gets it. Looks to play it forward. Hyder's there though to intercept for Melville. Holds wins another free hit for the Magpies. Short pass, and they've won another free hit into the circle. And that was lifted into the head of Hyder by Henry. And both players end up on the turf. Strong defence. Folds plays it forward. Welsh full stretch trying to get there, but it's good play again by Jacob Woods. May only be 17 years of age, but showing a maturity well beyond those years at the moment in this game. Spencer now. It was a good collection originally from Matt Nelson. It's still Spencer having to do a lot of work at the moment. Keeps it in play and down the side he goes. Eventually it gets a nudge off the stick of Trent Potter. And a chance now for a quick attack. Matt Willis had the space, took it to himself. Beats one and the short pass is a good one. Staines top of the circle, not allowed in. Deven, really good tackle. And once again, just a reminder, if you follow Fremantle or you've had any involvement with the club, go to their gala dinner, 90 years, 7th of July, as they break forward now, turn inside the circle, great tackle, indoor stick tackle coming from Gilt. Prevent Woods getting the shot, it's Staines now surging forward. It's all getting a little bit heated out there. Well, this is what you'd expect, a competitive match. Willis feeds it into the circle. Staines trying to turn and get a shot. Gets the shot. Rennie saves. It goes to Deven. Deven put under pressure from Staines. And people below were not too happy with the tackle. Hyder right, looking to help it forward to Staines. But Deven got there first. Now it's McPherson. Short pass to Gill. Looking to feed it forward. It's another good pass. Slipping as he received was Nelson. Good defensive work again from Melville and Houston in particular. 
thrown over the top. Good rake run from McGill. McGill into the circle. Good save by Rennie. Did it go over the baseline? Fremantle Coburn trying to find a way out of defence at the moment. Henry and Deven combining. Gill's done well. It was a stick check, but a good advantage played. Fan the foot there. Another advantage played, or no, we're going to come back for the foot. Jazz Henry feeds it forward. Trying to turn again is Matt Nelson. Calling for the ball. They want to get on with things quickly. Just 30 seconds left in the first half. They'd love their first penalty corner now if they could get it. Fremantle Coburn. That's a brilliant tackle from Frank Reynolds. Was a little bit telegraphed, but Reynolds did really well. Fed forward now and Sam Gears bursts forward. Feeds it out wide to Willis on the left-hand side. Gears stops, top of the circle. Willis just denied away into the circle. Welsh has stolen it. That was good play by the Tasmanian. Just played it just behind, unfortunately, for Jazz Henry. Still, though, with Fremantle Coburn. Welsh again coming back with Staines and almost on the end of the stick of Riley Folds as he made a run along the baseline on the ball again. He won that back in 2021. Desperate defending from McCormack. Sam Gears comes up with the ball, though. Played out of the defence and wide. And into a little bit of safety for Fremantle Coburn. Welsh again. Good skills showcased by him. Bursting forward. Oh, and up and over he goes from James Day. And Day has got a card. I think it was a green. Tim Gears now. Welsh closed him down, but Gears turned around and changed direction. Feeds it now to Mitchell Pace. Mitchell Pace cuts past one, two, and almost three. Good hit from the side. Deven. Pace has gone past him. And Pace still going. And in the end, it was Ben Rennie. Day again. Looks to the air. Launches it long. Hyder brings it down. He's got options ahead of him. Willis just hung back. Hyder into the circle, looking for a foot. Avoided that, but we've got the first penalty corner. Comes out to Day, flicks, and it's got down underneath Rennie. And James Day opens the scoring in the 38th minute. In fixtures played here. And Melville have scored five, and you can make that now six. Uh, McPherson playing that one cleverly into Hyder. We'll say he meant to do that. And the free hit goes against him. Hyder, it's three on three for Melville. Hyder looking up. Wanted to go square. Carried it towards the top of the circle. Deven in close attendance. Free hit conceded. Still with Hyder. Looked to get the pass away. Gill got a good touch and steals it away. Great defence coming from Gabindraj Gill. Played for the Northwest grads in Tasmania. And that's an equally great tackle coming back by Woods. And he was looking for the runner, Willis. He did well to get the pass away. Good lead again and a turn away coming from Nelson. Nelson still going, almost left it behind. Day penalised. Well, no, it's gone the other way. Well, McPherson closed down by Ranford and the pass picked up by Gears. Gears feeds it to Willis now. Finds Staines inside the circle, lays it back to the penalty spot. Ranford pings it. And it's wide of the mark. James Day, I'm sure, will look to throw it long. Well, he played it actually on the ground. It was a good signal from Sam Gears, who just said play it outside of the circle before he took that. Lawson had to give chase. Sam Gears looks to play on again. Quickly over the ball is Mitchell Tate. Feeds it forward. Nice turn again from Sam Gears. Gets inside the circle, stolen away, and it just caught Gears' foot, who just asked the umpire, are you sure about that? And how few seconds are left as he looks to try and get in there. It's going to go to the air. Out comes Rennie, and Staines ran across him. Plays on quickly now. Feeds it through the middle to Gill. That's a good tackle from Day. And that's a really good pass to Matt Willis. Staines goes on a run. Willis driving towards the circle. Willis into the circle. Looks to feed it to Staines. Past Rennie it went. Great defending behind the goalkeeper. In the end, he decides to leave it to Day. Day scoops it high. 
Staines brings it down inside the circle. Deven, good discipline from him, staying away and then fired into just above the shin pad and under the knee. Gears, both gears stopping. Goes to Tim Gears. Day goes the other way this time and it's 2-0 to Melville. Well, James Day takes his tally now to 21 for the season. And Fremantle, well, not a mountain as yet, but the hill is getting steeper. Spencer, they need a goal quickly if they're going to fight back. Spencer still going. Great run by him. Feeds it into the circle. Turn denied by, well, it's a penalty corner. It's a first one. Welsh at the first battery. I'm sure they'll go to him. It's a good trap by Folds. Good save by McCorn. As again, McCormick just getting a stick, I think, in the back of the neck. Just a little bit of argy bargy inside the circle. Just trying to organise, I think, the defence. Steven just deflects that one down the line. Wants the return pass. He gets it from Lawson. Steven across the face of goal. Saved by McCorn. And the rebound came back to Declan Spencer. Day again goes into the night sky. Oh, good work from Sam Gears. Top of the circle. Good save from Rennie. It's going to come back to McGill, though. A good thing Rennie makes the save. And Gill is down. That's a great pass to Welsh. Top of the circle feeds it in. It's McCormack. Day's blocked it. It's going to go out for a long corner. Probably helped that McCormack slipped as he was about to shoot. Ranford now plays it down. He's asking Willis to do a fair bit. Willis, though, one hand on the stick, keeps it under control. Fires it across and it's ricocheted up. Off the defender, Mark Ellis, into his own man coming back. Goes to Day, into the first runner, McCormack. By deliberately breaking up play and not given. And now they appeal for a penalty corner for a foot and they do get the decision. It doesn't, it goes to Abbott. Abbott deflected this time by Frank Reynolds. Long corner, Welsh will receive. Tim Gears is ahead of him. Welsh doubles back and is brought down. And that will be a penalty corner. Staines committing the foul. It's a good trap. Welsh flicks this time. He scores and he breaks that duck and they're back in the game. So Fremantle have a lifeline. So three PCs scored. Staines. Good skills. Lays it back. Welsh, a very important intercept. If Fremantle manage to get a draw, it will be the first draw in 12 fixtures between these two teams. Tim Gears turns away, somehow got it past the last man. Deven comes across and didn't just belt it. Clever pass to Riley Folds. Now it's Gill. Gill plays it wide, read brilliantly by Pace. That was superbly read by Mitch Pace. Down the sideline it goes. Josh White feeds it to the edge of the circle. What a tackle that was. Absolutely brilliant by Ross Hall. Gill, a little bit of space now. Fires it through the middle. It's brought under control, but he just caught the foot of Jazz Henry. Gets to, needs to get it forward quickly. Josh White, and that's Day again sliding across. Gill didn't get it on the end of his stick. And that intercept, though, will seal the game for Melville. And any hope of an equaliser evaporates for Fremantle Coburn. As the Hooter goes, that is the end of the match. It was lively.